41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield joins us live in Storm Tracker. Ariel, how are the roads right now? Well, Dia, they're looking much better than earlier today. We are heading north on about to get onto 71. I'm going to flip the camera so you can see what we are looking at. And you can see the roads are a little better than they were earlier this morning. They're still a little um, icy spots that we can feel, but Again, looking much better than our rush hour commute tonight, which had tow truck drivers and Uber drivers driving around nonstop. When the snow piles up, the calls pile in. Are you in a safe location? And for independent specialty tow, the day began before Monday's morning rush. A lot of tire changes, a lot of wrecks. And lasted well beyond the evening commute. Non-stop for two days now. Uh, started as soon as the snow hit yesterday and hasn't hasn't let up yet. The first big winter weather this year causing commotion on the roads. Crews so busy. We want to try to get it done as fast as possible, as safe as possible. We couldn't even keep up. Head to your pickup. But Neither could Markeela Phillips. Over here has been pretty bad. She had been driving for Uber since 630 Monday morning, helping riders navigate the snow. The roads are pretty slick. Um, there's been a lot of accidents, um, some trucks, a lot of cars and ditches. And a lot of calls on her phone. There's more riders that need um, rides and there probably are drivers out. So as she left for her next pickup, these tow truck drivers were on their way to their next job too. Thankful for a busy day of work, but hoping uh, for this to be over. <laughs> to put the winter weather in their rear view mirror soon. And again, here's another live look at 71. We are heading north. And as Jeff mentioned, with the possibility of some roads freezing, tow truck crews are expected to be out again, and they are asking drivers to move over when they see their flashing lights today and yesterday. Crews have already had extremely close calls of cars almost hitting them. So again, if you see any first emergency uh, responders or some tow truck drivers, just make sure you give them space and move over. Reporting live from Storm Tracker, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.